Best kayak if you need the flexibility to fold and put in your car. Amazing. Super easy to pump up and, and break down. Actual inflation deflation of kayak with backbone takes me about 10 minutes maximum. My first time was probably 30-40 minutes just trying to internalize the steps. So if you're new to it do a practice run to get a feel for it the non-drop stitch floor is probably my biggest concern as far as air leaks go. It's not nearly as protected as the other inflatable sections and coarse carry-on items are in direct contact if sat inside the kayak leg room is a bit lacking. I am 5 feet 8 inches however my feet are right up against the inner air chamber. We'll probably have to get to longer version. For reference I would say it's about 44 inches from the rear of the combing to the inner air chamber and at the bow I do feel secure in the kayak overall and plan to upsize with a drop stitch floor. I love this kayak. Totally exceeded my expectations. This is my second A inflatable. After 4 years, I finally decided to replace my first one for a new color. It wasn't worn out, other than a few scrapes on the bottom from dragging it over sharp limestone rocks. I use my kayak mostly for fishing in Illinois rivers, and it is perfect. I have a little 3.5 pounds anchor that holds the boat just fine in low current side pools, and it is very stable to cast from. I have a full size rod and reel that tucks handle down behind the seat while I paddle, and the straps in front hold my tackle box. I have never had an issue with hook meets inflatable boat like my friends in other brand inflatables have. And sitting on air that's on top of water, I promise you will be much more comfortable than your friends and their standard fishing boats. Not to mention, the ease of drifting right over lily pads to retrieve your snagged hooks from the shallows with ease. I cannot overstate how much I adore these inflatable kayaks.